Hey everybody, uh, I uh, generally like to do fountain pens, inks, paper, journaling things. Once in a while I do something more random. Today may seem very random, but I uh, just got back from a comic convention in Utah. It's called Fanex. Uh, this was the 10th year uh, that they've had it and a 10 year anniversary. Uh, so I've been doing this a while and I thought... Um, actually, the how to pack, what to pack, uh, some general tips would be a good video. So uh, I know this seems random for a channel like mine, but I think some of this crosses over to other types of conventions. Uh, you know, things to consider for a pen show. Uh, I personally haven't been to a pen show yet. I think the closest one is Denver. Um, and so I'm considering that, but haven't been yet. So uh, this may seem a little disorganized, but because I have everything out before I put everything away, um, I'm going to just hit everything as I go. So let's start with the basic. The first thing you need is some kind of a backpack. Um, and I will have links to things that I recommend or a generic thing. Uh, I am I do have an affiliate account with Amazon, so if, if you do click, it helps support the channel. But uh, anyway, as far as none of these things are sponsored, they're all purchased with my own money. But I have a general backpack um, and nothing crazy fancy, but um, you'll notice the first thing on here, you'll notice this tube. Uh, and a poster tube is something, uh, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of money on a cool poster or something you get autographed and then have it all damaged. So here's what I've done. Um, and I've seen this done a few ways where they've got like scraps on it. This is just a cheap poster tube, but I will use something like a bungee like this because... If you stick it in your bag, generally the weight, and as you're carrying it, it starts to, to unzip. So I've used this as a way to wrap it around the tube. And I'll just show you really quick here. So yeah, the description in this video will have a, a full list of what I'm talking about. But yeah, this poster tube will stay right there. Um, so this comes in handy. Another thing, when you are talking about things you don't want to get bent, things that are nice, um, another item I carry is a very thin binder. This is a one inch, uh, one inch binder. So you can carry the, the stuff you want without it getting bent out of shape. Uh, you can carry a, you know, like a map of the convention floor if you want. Obviously a lot of these have a digital app, but sometimes it's nice to have uh, something a little more tangible. A lot of times if, if uh, your phone isn't accessible or the app crashes or anything else. So um, anything that's eight and a half by 11 or short or smaller, is great for this. Um, some obvious things. You're gonna want something that you can have water in. Um, now, I recommend just a cheap plastic water bottle, something you're not worried about getting damaged or anything else. Uh, and then you can refill it at drinking fountains and things like that. So, something like that. While we're talking about getting things signed, uh, I recommend a black Sharpie and a silver Sharpie because whatever you're having signed, if it's got a dark background, uh, you, can, you can have silver and it'll turn out. Um, now most artists and authors, they're gonna have something to sign with already and that's fine. But just in case, I mean, these don't take up much room at all. Uh, they last for years. I want to say I've I've had both of these for 10 years and they still work. Um, 
So, uh, but just in case. So you've got two colors that will work with basically anything you're getting signed. All right. Um, tissues. Always good to have a pack of tissues. I don't have one of those on me right now. Um, let me show off. Uh, this is a military slash camping chair. And I got mine on Amazon years ago. I saw one of these and it was like, yes. If you're in a long line, I realize the younger kids can just sit on the cement floor, but uh, these are really handy. I wanna say at the time this was 20, maybe $30. Uh, not terribly expensive. And it, uh, I'm trying to get this all in frame. So you can see uh, this part here, you just push to get that to, to latch. And then you've got a really nice chair. Uh, it does the job. So military chair, this one weighs about two pounds. Um, there's cons to taking this, but I've used it basically every year. Um, you go to get something to eat. All the tables are full. There's no place to sit. Uh, you are maybe going into a panel and the room is full, but there's maybe standing room only in the back. Uh, it's nice to have something to sit on. Or just you're tired. You're in the vendor floor. You can find a corner somewhere and you don't have to sit on the floor. For comfort reasons, also uh, the floors, you don't know. Someone could have spilled something gross, so you're, you're protected that way. Okay, um, I do recommend if you are bringing kids with you, let them bring their own backpacks. Uh, let them carry their own stuff. Um, when it comes to cosplay, I like to be comfortable. So a lot of times I don't cosplay. Uh, very rarely will I dress up, but my kids love to dress up. So if you're doing that, you'll want some kind of a uh, cosplay repair kit some things they can use to fix their costume. And I let them carry their own. So their own water, their own, and then if they buy things, they can carry that in their backpack too. Um, I always like to get, make sure the app, if they have one, is updated. Um, another item. Again, this is kind of random but um, going through as I can. Something like this. This is an old uh, power bank, but something like this is super handy to have. Um, I'll put a link to one of something maybe more updated, but this is, this is old. So something like this, uh, getting all your devices charged beforehand, uh, making room on your phone for photos, videos, uh, making sure you have, uh, I recommend getting some uh, some audio in case you need like a podcast or an audio book to listen to while you're in a line. So those are important to me. Um, but yeah, if you start to run low on power, it's nice to have something like this. And then I have had a lot of luck with this specific. It's got a USB on one end that'll that'll plug here. And then it's got you know, a variety of different, uh, you know, you can see the old USB, the new USB, and the Apple, two of the Apple chargers. So this is handy. Okay, so power bank. Uh, what else? I like to write out the plan. So not just on the app, but I like to get a three by five card, uh, something you know, something kind of like this where I can put what time something's at, uh, what if it's in the ballroom or if it's in one of these other rooms. So something like a, a written plan. You just never know if the app is going to work well or if you can't get to it easily. Uh, something to snack on. So I recommend uh, granola bars. I've also found useful... 
couple examples. So things like you just need some some energy. These were uh, like Costco has this kind of stuff. Uh, just granola bars, um, Cliff Bar, things that you things that you can have in a pinch. I think that's pretty common sense. Uh, there's always going to be food at these things, but it's nice to have something quick as well. Uh, I'd like to have Tylenol, ibuprofen, things like that, just in case. Uh, you want to have any vitamins or meds. Uh, don't forget uh, maybe some cash, just in case you're, you know, some vendors prefer cash, some prefer card. It's good to have both. Uh, I like to take some cough drops, just, you know, long day, and uh, cargo pants. I recommend cargo pants uh, or shorts just because you, you get that extra storage. Um, some panels you may want to go to have, uh, you know, information. Say it's on something you're interested in. I like to have something to write with. Uh, so I take my pocket notebook. I've got a separate review on this, um, but always, always a pen, always something to write with. Um, you, you're going to want that. Uh, an umbrella. This one, you know, weather specific. I'm going to say umbrella and jackets. Those are going to depend. I like to bring them in the car just in case and then check the weather, see if you're going to need those. Uh, I like to, uh, with parking, a lot of times you can use public transit, so you can park your own vehicle out of ways, and then you can, you know, ride uh, public transit to get closer. But you don't want to be stuck without a coat, without a jacket. Um, but yeah, if kids are coming with you, let them pack their own. So that is kind of, in a nutshell, the things I recommend um, as far as the, uh, you know, the, the, the things you want to look out for um, and other tips about conventions, I think there's some other videos that are great, and I don't have those prepared right now. But I wanted a brief, just, okay, what do you pack? Uh, hopefully this was interesting, useful. Um, I'll have links to some of the things. You know, you want to pack as light as you can, but at the same time, it sure is nice to have what you need. Um, please uh, hit the like button if you found this interesting or useful at all. And subscribe so you can see, you know, the other things I'm coming out with. So, all right. I'll talk to you later on. Thanks.